Welcome everyone on Bangladesh's Independence Day. You are watching the SAF Under-17 Women's Championship 2023. This is the match between India's Under-17 and Bhutan's Under-17 teams. And as things stand, Bhutan, they are yet to find a win in this tournament. On the other hand, India, they are also on the back of a defeat against hosts Bangladesh. We are live from Dhaka's Komlapur's Beer Shreshto Shohid Shipahi Mohammad Mustafa Kamal Stadium. And we will be bringing you all the live action from this stadium in the remainder matches. We've got three more matches after this, one tonight and two more on Tuesday. And the team that ends up winning the most number of matches here with the most number of points in the table will be crowned champions. But before everything begins, obviously a round of applause from both teams. And as we can see in the table, Russia are top having played two matches and won both with a massive Ladies goal difference gentlemen. of plus Later 11 Bangladesh hosts there in the Bhutan. second spot with two wins same number of points but a slightly lower goal difference and on the other hand as we can see both teams they're getting ready for Bhutan they're at the very bottom of the table without a single win and for India they're just above in fourth position with one win and two losses. This should be an interesting match. India did get win over Nepal but then obviously in the next match they were defeated Please by hosts Bangladesh the national anthem of India. first we'll have the national anthem of India <laughs> National team anthems done. We will start live action very, very soon. 
as we can see the players getting in position and shaking hands with the match officials Ryan Jana, Shakya Radhika, Chakma Jaya and Mune Salma Akhtar. They've had to deal with a difficult tournament so far for many of the players under hot conditions here in Dhaka and also on a difficult pitch plenty of injuries have had to be dealt with they've had to be sensitive here's India's team Kushi Kumari, Hina Khatun, Akhila Rajan Toibi Sana Chanu, Fikshit Bara, Sibani Devi Menaka Lorambam, Shilji Shachi Sivani Toppo, Lalita Boypai and Puja This is the team that lost 1-0 against Bangladesh in the last match that they played. They've won one, they've lost one. And India, after winning the coin toss, they've decided which side of the field to play on. Bhutan, on the other hand, are yet to win a single match as both captains, they take the pictures, the official photos, and here's Bhutan's team, Sonam, Kelsang Sheri, the captain, Mualem Choiki, Nima Seldon, Choki Om, Sange Wangmo, Chigmil Yangsom, Namsel Wangsom, Kilden Wangmo, Priya Gale, and Kinli Dima. That is the Bhutan team. As both sides get ready. The referee is just making sure everything is absolutely in perfect condition, including the net, the goal net. Today, as usual, we will have two games. In the second match, Nepal will face the strong Russian team who are yet to be defeated in this tournament Nepal having won one game and lost one game they've won against Bhutan by a big margin but they've also lost against India in the first match it's been a difficult tournament for the Bhutan goalkeeper and as we have kickoff, so Bhutan looking to make a bright start, having scored just the one goal in this tournament. India, on the other hand, they lost the last match by a very slim margin due to an unfortunate own goal. They're looking to get into a good attacking position early on. So you can see a bright run there by Shivani, one of their hat-trick players, Shilji Shahji from the first match. She's on the pitch as well. She will be one of those players who are hungry for goals after India failed to score any against Bangladesh in the last match. Bhutan, they've largely been one of those teams that are yet to find any form on any side of the pitch and been dominated by every single team they faced this will be the last match that they play India will have another match after this on the final day and that will be against Russia Early signs pointing to India looking slightly brighter of the two teams. One of the issues for Nepal throughout the tournament has been their lack of passing fluidity. And when you don't have position in the middle of the pitch, you will be in trouble in the final third. Really good run there by Shilji Shaji. And right now, from the left, we saw big sh Vikshit Bara trying a long range effort and it's on to the goal. India find the first goal 
just like that the keeper could have done a better job one feels but at the end of the day it's India's number nine Menaka Lorembam who scores the opening goal just within the third minute India have gone ahead and the shot goal for that India was tried to be parried out nine. by the keeper Sonam unfortunately the parry it went straight into her net you can also question whether her positioning was a bit off she was too far forward leaving loads of space behind her goal and eventually that led to the demise and conceding the first goal Bhutan they're already on the back foot you're watching us on VTV and you're also watching us on SportsWorks YouTube channel be sure to subscribe be sure to like and share and hit the bell notifications icon for more live videos and live games from the SAF under 17 tournament we've got three more matches after this Bhutan they really have struggled this entire tournament and that struggle looks to continue they have a throw in in the middle of the pitch can they make something happen here they really have lacked control on both ends and having conceded an early goal you get the feeling India might want to take full advantage their number nine doing the job early on Menaka Lorembam for Bhutan it's about trying to find some positive here some pressure being put on by Namsil in fact Priya Gale and Bhutan will want to get their attacking players in action from this position the likes of Kinli Dema Keldin Wangmo and Namsil Wangzong once again India winning the second balls but it's another throw in for Bhutan can they make it count here the cross comes in well defended eventually and India looking to counter here early signs pointing to once again Bhutan having a very long day ahead of them India's Kushi Kumari the first bit of action she had kicking the ball a bright bit of football being played there by Pooja even though the ball goes out it's a throw in for India Akila Rajan the player who conceded the goal who scored the own goal against Bangladesh in the last match she would like to make amends and exit this game with a clean sheet India once again looking to attack this time from the right flank as we see Pooja showing a bit of skill and industry here once again the cross is coming in inside the D box of Bhutan and all they can do is parry it out to the sideline it's another throw in and now India can pile on the pressure in the opening minutes but just into the seventh minute in the middle of the pitch India's attack still continuing though Bhutan having a hard time getting possession and this time from the left flank Shivani with the cross in the header just off target but still India they look to attack and the ball goes out thankfully for Bhutan 
It's a goal kick. So the score remains India 1, Bhutan 0. India looking dangerous just outside the D box. Having players in dangerous position, Shivaji Shilji. Once again, looking to pass it through, maybe taking a few too many touches, and that allows Bhutan to break away from the right flank. Can they make something happen? Well, unfortunately, even though there was space from the right side, the pass was not the best one from. Nam Sel Wang Zong. It does result in a throw in for Bhutan in the middle of the pitch. Mohanem Choki taking the throw in. And this time a rare poor pass by Shilji. And that doesn't result in Bhutan gaining control. It ends up going back to India. They're looking for their second goal, that's for sure. Oh. Once again, this could be oh, almost. Almost, almost. Another long range effort. That eventually misses the target. As we see from midfield, Toibisana. Once again, testing the keeper who goes off her line. Not the tallest Sonam, Bhutan's goalkeeper, really having a hard time here. This time, Bhutan looking to play out from the back. The passing wasn't too good, and now India once again on the attack in front of the Bhutan D box. The shot, though didn't have enough power Sibani Devi once again she's looked among the brighter players for India even in the last match Bhutan finally deal with it but there is really no control from them at this moment The throw in, it goes straight to an Indian player, and that's been the problem for Bhutan. They are not making their throw ins, free kicks, or general possession count. It's been too haphazard, and now India, they have a good opportunity inside the D box. It's Shivani, Shilji, eventually dealt with by Bhutan. But every time they do this, the next move is to give a pass to one of their players and that is what they cannot do. Every time it's India taking that pass, intercepting, pass lacking general quality. This time once again, could be danger. Shilji, what a shot, what a goal! Shilji Shahji shows her class, has a fourth goal of the tournament. And the hat trick hero from the first match gets back amongst the goals. India 2, Bhutan nil, inside the 12th minute. You can see she just took a touch, controlled the ball, and placed it. Didn't try too many 
fancy things, no for India, but, but she was able to beat the keeper and find the bottom left corner of the net. Excellent precision to which Sonam had no answer. And now in midfield, once again India. You can see Bhutan, despite having the goal kick, they cannot control possession. And they've become really deflated as the tournament has gone on. A throw in. One of the villains for India in the last match. Akila Rajan takes the throw in had the own goal scored against Bangladesh so far I don't think her defense will be tested against Bhutan it's been all in the opening encounters they scored two wonderful goals two long-range efforts and once again from the right side Shivani Topo controlling it nicely looks to give a very difficult shot from a very tight angle and she was better off trying to pass it towards Pooja who was closest to the goalkeeper at the end of the day Bhutan survived for the time being they have possession but eventually lacked the control needed to make it count once again in midfield India looking to dominate proceedings we're into the 15th minute of the first half and there will be a substitution for Nepal Tikshna Rai was injured in the last match she's coming in looks good to go Sonam the first 15 minutes have not impressed the coach and immediately Tayen Kim Bhutan said coach has seen enough she wants to change Two long-range efforts failed to be dealt with, but now it's up to Dikshita Rai whether she can deal with the barrage of attacks that India will have as the match progresses. India will be back in the thick of things. will be on level points with hosts Bangladesh and also Russia Russia who later play tonight with a win against Nepal they could once again be top of the table or should I say they could remain top of the table India will need to win by a massive margin to improve their goal difference and overtake Russia in the table once again some sloppy passing there from Nepal leading to another throw in by India India playing in all blue Nepal all orange inside the D box Nepal trying to in fact Bhutan trying to deal with the loose ball and in midfield that tackle did look a bit nasty but eventually no danger or no harm done and it was on Akila Rajan from India India looking to play it out to the back one of their defenders eventually do get it and deal with the ball it's a throw in for Bhutan now no 
once again to be another throw in India's head coach Priya Valapil she will be pleased with what she's seen so far Bangladesh defeated Bhutan 8-1 Russia made it one better defeating them 9-1 Nepal also got the better of Bhutan, defeating them 5-0. And now we see Bhutan being 2-0 behind against India. Can they muster up something in what remains in this match? This sort of passing certainly won't help and might lead to India taking advantage. Ref deems that to not be a foul on Shilji Shachi, the second goal scorer. The ball had a small opportunity to counter attack. Sivani Devi puts it in, but the eventual header doesn't hit the target we're into the 19th minute and once again from a goal kick India have possession and they're winning it in dangerous areas Nepal trying to somehow deal with it but they haven't dealt with it well enough this time it's Pooja Gives it to Shivani Topo and just wide, just wide of the mark by Shilji Shachi. Shivani Topo had a very nice cross in but perhaps had a bit too much pace for Shilji Shachi to control it into the net. But once again India looking for the third. And they're playing with a lot of fire after that loss against Bangladesh has to be said finally the pass has too much on it and Bhutan can breathe a sigh of relief for the time being before India once again have possession just outside the D-box not sure if that was a shot on goal or a pass by Shilji Shaji. She's looking to give it to Puja. Eventually, the ball is dealt with by Bhutan. The Indian attacking players have looked quite bright so far. Shivani Topo, Shilji Shaji, Puja, Lalita Boypai, Menaka, Lorembam. Now India's goalkeeper finally seeing the ball and perhaps just for the second time in this match she's had to distribute it to one of her defenders Kushi Kumari. She'll be happy with what's happening so far. From the left flank once again it's Shivani Topo. The cross does come in but Once again, Bhutan trying to deal with it, a long range shot. This time, it does take a bounce before the goalkeeper eventually deals with it. And the bounce could have been awkward for her. Dikshita Rai coming in in place of Sonam. Sonam who's been substituted off after the first 15 odd minutes once again from the left India looking to attack there's a hint of handball there 
the players really didn't appeal. Eventually, it's still with India. They will look to make this possession count from the throw in. One thing we've noticed with Bhutan is whenever they have possession, usually the passes don't go to the right players. And once again, we saw that was a good opportunity to hurt India's defense. There were wide open spaces, but the pass just didn't have the right direction or power. And eventually India, they took control of the loose ball. Once again, in midfield, India looking to build. This cross could be dangerous. Eventually, the goalkeeper, Tikshita Rai, she takes it before Shilji Shahji could have her second goal. Currently, the top scorer in the tournament, Shilji Shahji, with four goals. Could be in the running for player of the tournament. For Vikshit Bara, she's had very little to do in terms of defending. Might need to do some right now with the Bhutan throw in. Bhutan's Mualem Choki really struggling with who to give the throw in to and eventually gives it to an Indian player after so long. This time. Once again, Bhutan trying to take possession in a dangerous area in front of the Indian D-box. But just not having enough control. And now India can hit on the counter. Shilji Shaji took too long to decide what to do. And now this is a decent ball, but the keeper, Kushigumari, is the first to it. Deals with the danger. The pace of the game picking up, becoming more end-to-end. -end. Bhutan showing some signs of fight. India looking to hit on the counter. Some sloppy passing in the end. Once again, Bhutan skilled in Wang Mo. She's the target. The ball is coming in from midfield, aimed at her. Bhutan have some control some possession now this time kills in Wang Mo inside the tee box she goes down the referee tells her to get back up she's still down though finally kills in Wang Mo is back up and as we can see well there was a bit of contact, but not enough to be called a penalty, according to the referee, Ryan Jana. This could be dangerous, but eventually the long range effort, the hybrid of a cross and shot of target. Dikshita Rai, who's come in in place of Sonam. And after she's come in, Bhutan are yet to concede as we enter the 27th minute in the SAF Under 17 Women's Championship 2023. The match taking place in Thakas Komnapur at the Beer Stretch to Shohi Chipahi, Mohammed Mustafa Kamal Stadium. Bhutan trying to build out from the back. Loads of players gathering in front of their D box and inside the D box as well. And now, Namsel, Wang Zong. Another tackle on Kelden Wang Mo. And this time the referee does oblige 
two players down in fact Keldon Wangmo and Priya Gale the referee having a look and two tackles in fact on two of their players and it was India's Thoibisana Chanu Toijam at first and then the second one was by Hina Khatun both of them making contact with the Bhutan players although I'm not sure if there was any any real foul there because Hina Khatun did win the ball the first one was more a foul than the second one the first one by Toibi Sana on Kelden Wangmo looked to be more of a foul than Hina Khatun's bit of contact with Priya Gale because she did end up getting the ball and as both these players are being treated one of them she's up thankfully for Bhutan Kelten Wangmo she's up Priya Gale she is also up but I wonder if she'll be treated and while all of this happens the players are tra taking drinks just a small drinks break as it is difficult hot and humid conditions here in Dhaka and we can once again see a bit of contact there between Hena Khatun and Priya Gale and after all of this India will be making a substitution as India's number 11 will be replaced by number 17 so Shivani Toto she'll be replaced by Cindy Kolni Jersey number 17, Cindy Rimru Atui in. Sil Cindy Colney coming in in place of Shivani Topo. And immediately she's in an attacking position. From the left, though, misplaced pass by Vikshit Bara. And Priya Galle, she has it, but misplaces her pass. And now India can attack in a good area. Shilji Shaji, unfortunately, doesn't take her shot. India's number nine, the goal scorer, Mineka Lorenbaum, the first goal scorer for India in this match looking bright it's been number nine and number ten with the two goals for India now this time looking for a third just dealt with somehow by Dikshita Rai and now once again in midfield Bhutan looking to win the duels on the aerial duels you have to say India just slightly ahead using their height advantage and for Bhutan we can also see another substitution Kelden Wangmo she's off for Kelzang Rigzindema This is the first time we're seeing Kelsan Rigzindima in this match and in this tournament as well. So as I said, the tackle on Kelden Wangmo looked the worst of the two and she has eventually been subbed off. 
struggling a bit. Right now India playing it very nicely through the middle of the pitch. The cross eventually though goes out. India's first goal scorer Menaka Lorenbaum with the cross that eventually missed its target. Dikshtarai, she can play it to one of her defenders though India are pressing and now India once again looking to win the second balls but Bhutan looking to attack from the right side and somehow it's with India and in a good position right now Puja takes the shot just wide of the target didn't have the angle she would have been better off trying to put a cross somewhere in there for Dikshtarai it's more work inside their own D-box losing possession could be dangerous and once again it's a misplaced pass a long range effort this time by Lalita Boipai in midfield once again and they are looking to build Lalita Poipai once again looks to give the ball forward it's taken by Sibani Devi crosses it and the header but saved nice header by Minaka Lorenbaum As we approach the 35th minute, still India 2, Bhutan nil. The goals came early on and right now the game has become a bit more sloppy with conditions not being easy. India looking to attack from the left flank but the ball once again going out of play for Dikshta Rai to once again deal with it she in fact brings in one of her defenders Kelsang Shering Wang Mo the captain to the ball up forward and in midfield we see a bit of a tussle between the two teams India's captain getting in on the act, Hina Khatun. And once again, the match is becoming quite physical. Another foul by India in the midfield. Nepal's number 10, Namsel Wangzong. was in a tussle with the India captain who eventually had her left elbow hitting Namsel's back India's captain Hina Khatun this time from the left Puja looking to tack And the shot goes in, and the keeper almost has a hard time dealing with it, but eventually does deal with it. Sibani Devi was the player with the shot. And we can see India have almost targeted this. They want to take long range efforts. Once again, the shot, it's parried, and this will be goal number three for India. But the referee eventually 
deems it to be offside. So for Puja, she'll have to wait longer for that goal. She got really lucky. But you can see Nepal's goalkeeper, she's really struggling, Dikshita Rai. She got injured in the last match and you can see her having trouble walking. Even though the initial effort, it was parried, it went straight to Puja, who was offside. This time, this could be goal number three, India once again in attack. The shot hit straight at Bhutan's Dikshita Rai. I wonder if she wants to take the kick. She does. In midfield though, it's won again by India. They're looking good for the third goal. They're getting closer and closer. Bhutan somehow dealing with it. Now is that a foul? No, it isn't. You have to give credit to Bhutan for keeping it down to two so far. But right now India trapped. Not having enough power, but still it's in a dangerous position and eventually goes over the goalpost. The shot by India's Cindy Colney. Bhutan have really been attacked with multiple shots in the last few minutes but now they find themselves on India's half and it's a long range shot which the goalkeeper does drop for a bit Kushi Kumari but it's fouled by one of the Bhutan players and the referee she blows her whistle Ryan Jana as we can see Bhutan's number nine, Jigmi Yangzong, with the shot. And then their number seven, Sangay Wangmo, with a bit of a reckless challenge on the keeper. And now India looking to build Puja from the left flank. Aiming at Shilji Shahji, but it goes out. It'll be a corner for India. As we approach half time, four more minutes before we go into extra time in the first half. It's a good corner. Eventually, the header goes just wide of the post. Toibisana Chanu Toijam with the header. And now India once again in attack. Cindy Colney getting herself involved in the attacks. And from the right flank now, this could be goal number three, and it is Sibani Devi. She gets the goal. And it's three goals for India in the first half. Sibani Devi making sure she takes her shot well. And latches onto the ball, shoots very nicely, doesn't allow the keeper any chance. Goal for India by just number seven. A really good cross came in from Puja, which couldn't be dealt with by the Bhutan defense and fell perfectly to Sibani Devi. And she took the right footed effort, placing it on the right flank and now there's more danger for Bhutan almost goal number four before half time and this time Puja wanted one India looking dangerous now some good work done by Puja she's been one of India's best players in the first half she had the ball once again Looking to pass it to Shilji Shahji. 
Indiana looking really strong in all facets. Another good ball in inside the D box. Bhutan will have to deal with it. First goal scorer, Menaka Lorenbaum, making her presence felt. And all Bhutan can earn from this is a corner. Great pressure being applied by India. Menaka Lorenbaum, happy with something. But it is another opportunity for the Indian team. Fikshit Barra with the corner kick. Once again, India's Puja gets involved and they're looking for goal number four. Bhutan, can they deal with it? Can they avoid conceding the fourth? The ball is out once again and it's another corner for India. So all of a sudden, it's a barrage of intense attacks. And this time, once again, Dikshit Bharat. Oh, just, just missing. Or else that would have been the fourth goal. Bhutan deals with the ball eventually. Both sit in midfield, goes out for a throw in. As we approach half time, Bhutan looking to attack from the left flank. But it's gladly taken additional time three minutes by Kushi Gumari as we have three minutes of extra time being given in the first half. Once again, India looking to attack. And in midfield. India regain control. The chipped ball up forward for Shilji Shaji, but ends up with the keeper, Dikstarai. The goal kicks need to be accurate. This time it was better than usual. As a result, Bhutan have some possession in midfield but they cannot make it count with passes like that another wayward pass from midfield and just as you think Bhutan might be able to make their possession count they throw it away and India eventually get chance after chance and you reckon one of those chances will result in another goal. This time, Shilji Shaji gets her shot, but straight at the keeper. And it's saved just before half time. Dikstarai called into attack. Called into action, in fact. And now, as we can see, once again, just inside the D box. Dikstarai, who's already scored one goal, the top goal scorer in this tournament. Shilji Shaji, she took the shot, but Dikstarai was ready for it. Bhutan's goalkeeper. India do have a corner eventually. As we're into the last minute of extra time in the first half. This could be dangerous. Just just wide of the post for Bhutan's goalkeeper this doesn't look good though there seems to have been a collision with one of India's players the corner was a good one by Vikshit Bara 
as we see India's Toibi Sanachanu Toijam trying to get the ball eventually catching Tikshita Rai and this is going to be a big worry for Bhutan as they've already subbed off their keeper in the first half after the first 15 minutes and they're already using their substitute keeper to play in this match this could be big big problems for Bhutan if Diksha Rai isn't fit enough to continue and you can see some grim faces among the Bhutan players they know the fate that awaits them as India have dominated them and they've been dominated in every single match in this tournament a very very good half for India not for Bhutan though they're yet to score after scoring the first game against Bangladesh Yes, there was one goal against Russia, but that was an own goal. A misplaced pass, which Russia's goalkeeper was unable to deal with. And eventually, as we can see, stretcher is out, but Dikshita Rai she seems to be asking for them to not bring the stretcher might not need it but this is a big worry for Bhutan we finished our three minutes of extra time in the first half but because of this injury to Dikshtarai we're continuing on and what happened during this break is some of the players went to the sidelines for some water under this hot and humid conditions and now Bhutan is down to their third and final goalkeeper, Shering Yangzon, who will come in and replace Dikshita Rai. Substitution for Bhutan, jersey number one, Dikshita Rai out, jersey number 20, Shering Yangzon in. And this will be it, the final substitute for Bhutan as far as their keepers are concerned they have three if another substitute needs to be made for their keeper perhaps one of the outfield players will have to be the goalkeeper for the remainder of the match right now though Bhutan's captain takes the kick and the referee finally says it's half time Substitution for Bhutan. In fact, number two, Moilam Choki. It's out. not half time Jersey yet. The referee is having another look as the substitution has been made. Bhutan's number 14, Sharing Pilden. She's the latest player in. And the pass is straight to her. India have control once again looking to attack from the left flank eventually Bhutan deal with it but India looking for one more attack keeper has it sharing Yang zone 
the kick not a convincing one and now India have another corner kick in fact no it's a goal kick Bhutan trying to take their time with this and the referee Ryan Jana finally decides to say it's half time puts Bhutan out of their misery it was really getting tough for them and you can see in their faces there is a lot of disappointment and a lot of frustration and a lot of sadness right now India the happier of the two teams and we look at the points table India are 3-0 ahead they're in third position if this score stays the same Bhutan will have the fifth position but India with one more goal will equal Bangladesh in goal difference with two goals they can overtake Bangladesh in the points table with goal difference so that remains to be seen if that can be done so the half time it's India 3 it's Bhutan nil and we go into a short break
Welcome back once again to the SAF Under-17 Women's Championship 2023. At halftime, the scores were India 3, Bhutan 0. And right now, Bhutan and India are getting ready for the second half. The referees are getting ready. And as we showed you before the halftime break, that a 4-0 win will be enough for India to take them on level terms with Bangladesh in terms of goal difference. A 5-0 win will take them over Bangladesh into second spot. But Russia, who have a match later on tonight, are still top of the table. For Bhutan, it's been another chastening half of football. Three goals conceded, and they've seen their goalkeeper changed twice. So, three different goalkeepers in the first half. And right now, we're seeing more substitutes. As substitution for Bhutan, just number five, Tokyo out, just number eight, Kripti Gurong in. Substitution for India, just number two, Akin Rajan out, just number 14, Toy Toy Baby in. So, as we can see, two substitutions being made. One for each side, one for India and one for Bhutan. As things get underway. India looking to attack. On the right flank for Bhutan. It's about finding a bit of respectability here. Maybe scoring one goal. Handball in midfield. That means it would be a Bhutan kick. It's taken long. The keeper should be the first to it. And she is Kushi Kumari complaining about the bit of a push on her captain, Hena Khatun, just in front of her, a Bhutan player. And now India looking to gain control in midfield. Starting the half early and bright, who just shot is unfortunately deemed to be offside. And Bhutan's captain, Hina Khatun, she can take the uh, free kick. Once again, it's taken long, but met by an India head. Oh, this clash looks a bit bad for both players. Two Indian players clashing with each other. And it's Cindy Colney. And Toy Toy Devi. Both of these players, they came on as substitutes and both have clashed with each other. Once again, and it was a clash of heads. Fortunately, both of them get back up. But Toy Toy Devi She seems to have suffered a bit more. Cindy Colney is ready to take part in this free kick that India have won. It's a decent free kick. This could be in. But just, just averted the danger. 
bit of sloppy playing in the end. All smiles for now, but it could have resulted in goal number four. This time from the corner. Once again, there was a flurry of action just in front of goal. And the referee deems it to be a foul. And so some pressure that was building has been dealt with for the time being by Bhutan, who are yet to score and have already conceded three. But India looking bright now, looking to score the fourth. Another offside. India's head coach Priya Vallapil definitely will be the happier of the two coaches. Tain Kim, Bhutan's coach, really hasn't had much to cheer about in this tournament so far. As the match goes on into the 50th minute, India looking more and more likely of clinching a big win and maybe moving up the ladder in the points table. All three of Bhutan, Russia and Bangladesh on six points. But they can certainly move up from third to second, maybe even first with more goals and an increased goal difference. And maybe that's what they're aiming to do. In the second half, they have looked full of energy and attacking verve and look to put the pedal to the metal and increase the score line. Bhutan's third choice keeper having a hard time distributing the ball. Eventually an Indian player gets it. The shot goes out of the ground though. Sibani Devi. Once again Bhutan struggling to get the ball out of their own half and it's India's first goal scorer Meneka Lorembam who tries to take the shot and it's Shilji Shaji with her effort off the bar and it eventually goes out this will be another corner kick for India Shilji Shaji, the top goal scorer in the tournament, with another very good shot, and the keeper wouldn't have had a chance. She really connected well there. This is another opportunity for India. But for now, Bhutan deals with it. But for how long can they continue to defend like this? Giving up chance after chance in every minute almost. Now can Bhutan counter one of their players so far ahead, very poor positioning from Namsil Wangzong and eventually she's deemed to be offside giving India the free kick and India's captain Hina Khatun, she can take it from the midfield played out long and at first even though the header is missed eventually India manage to keep possession but this time Bhutan have numbers advantage in midfield trying to make use of it but that one pass that they need to go on target isn't on target and India once again have the ball in a dangerous area. Bhutan's players becoming a tad frustrated with the number of chances they're conceding. And you can see that in the way they're aggressively trying to deal with India's attacks. 
and even trying to play more physically than India in defense. This time it's India's captain in Akhatun who tries to deal with the danger, eventually putting the ball out on the sideline. It's a throw in for Bhutan. Sharing Pelden with the throw in. Eventually, India's keeper Kushi Kumari. She gladly obliges. Has a long goal kick. Eventually finds an Indian player. And now from the left flank, India can look to attack. Dealt with for the time being by Bhutan. Bhutan's captain. Kelsang sharing Wang Mo. The player kicking it out long. This time. India looking to latch onto the loose ball with a few aerial deliveries themselves. And now inside the D box, three Indian players versus five Bhutan players. And eventually the numbers advantage allows Bhutan a rare chance to counter. It's only one player inside the D box versus four Indian players. And Namsil Wangzom, the shot she takes, is a team one straight at the keeper. Kushikumari who deals with it and now India can get back in attack attacking from the right flank Shilji Shaji a nice passing between her and Cindy Kulni eventually going out and it's a corner kick for India they piled on the pressure in the second half yet to score the first 10 minutes are up in the second half. Bhutan did have that one chance just a while ago. But nothing of note. No sustainable attacks. It's a nice corner. And the header goes in! Finally, India find their fourth goal. And it's Toibi Sana Chanu Toijam with the fourth goal of the match for India. She joins the likes of Shilji Shahji, Minika Lorembam, and Puja to get in on the score sheet. Toibi Sana, the defender, making sure her header was on target. And it went past all of the Bhutan players. And the keeper, she was wrong footed. Eventually, couldn't deal with a powerful header by Toibisana. And now in midfield, Bhutan looking for a rare attack. Not enough quality on that through ball. India's keeper Kushi Kumari drills it forward to Vikshit Bara. And now from the left, Sibani Devi. Maybe she might want to take the shot. Good footwork shown by her, but she overruns it. And eventually, seems to have hurt herself a little bit against the advertising board. But earns her team another corner. So just a while ago, we saw the fourth goal. India scored from a corner. Can they score a few more? The cross comes in. It's dealt with by the keeper. Referee, though, has found an infringement there. Bhutan will breathe a sigh of relief just for the time being, but now inside the D box, India's Puja, very feisty there, looking to attack immediately as soon as the free kick was taken. A bit of a tussle between India and Bhutan at this moment India clearly coming off the better of the two teams and now Bhutan's captain taking that free kick but it ends up going straight to another Indian player and now India can look to attack once again it's a goal scorer Menaka Lorembam and the shot taken hits the bar 
Once again, another shot. This time by Sivani Devi. The second shot that was taken was by Lalita Boypai. And it hit the bar. Or else India would have had their fifth goal. In midfield, once again, we see India winning the second balls. Looking to cause Bhutan trouble. And just not enough control in the passing by Bhutan. Leading to easy turnovers in play and losses of possession. And India making sure that the sloppy play by Bhutan is dealt with properly. And it has been goals galore in this match. The Bangladesh India match, we saw only one goal. We're back to seeing loads of goals. And matches where Bhutan have been involved, we have seen in general more than five goals. Five is the lowest so far, four in this match. They've conceded so many goals, they've been attacked so much, lacked a lot of composure and control in midfield and in most areas of the pitch. They just haven't found it easy passing, but now they might have an opportunity. Unfortunately for them, it's the Indian keeper, Kushikumari, who's first to it. And you can see the difference in her distribution and the distribution in the Bhutan defense and how they've tried to distribute it from the back. And that has really been one of the main differences between the two teams. Now Shilji Shaji from the right flank looking to attack. This is a beautiful goal scored. Shilji Shaji makes it, sets it up for Sivani Devi who gets her second goal of the match. And it's India's fifth goal in the 61st minute. Sivani Devi making no mistake there and India with some delightful football from the right flank, initially by Shilji Shaji, who scored four goals in this tournament. And now, Sivani Devi getting her second of the match. And India, 5 nil ahead. You are watching us on Sportsworks and also on BTV. Be sure to subscribe to Sportsworks' YouTube channel. And like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications icon for more such live content and I'm your commentator for the day Shanu Rabbani I'll be taking you through this match and the second match as well along with the final two matches on the fifth day of this tournament and now India looking for goal number six another shot and it goes in and this time Shilji Shaji she scores her second goal of the match Shilji Shaji has five goals now in this tournament three goals in the first match against Nepal two goals in this game against Bhutan India's goal difference increasing they've crept up to the second position in the points table with six points and a better, better goal difference than what Bangladesh have but can they overtake Russia as well before Russia plays their match tonight against Nepal and now India looking for another one just averting the danger here and this time the danger was Pooja India's number 15 She's very close, but the ball just went past her. Had too much pace on it. Bhutan's captain. Goal for India. Kills on sharing one more. Trying to build out from the back. India with three quick goals in the second half. From the 55th minute. And now looking for more. Another shot. This time by the two goal scorers, first by Shilji Shaji and then by Sibani Devi. Both of them have looked very bright in the second half, scoring goals, scoring their second goals each in the match. 
other players to score in this match. Puja, Toibi Sana, Chanu Toijam. They've also scored two. And as a result, India have a 6 0 lead in this game. We're into the 64th minute. Bhutan have been thumped once again. And as I said, the least number of goals they conceded in one match was by Nepal, where Nepal scored five. Bangladesh scored eight. Russia scored nine. India have so far scored six. They've managed to score only one goal themselves, and now India looking for goal number seven. Puja showing some good footwork inside. But the referee deems there to be an infringement. And a free kick for Bhutan. They've been let off the hook here. Lalita Boypai, one of the players, who took the shot in the end. Puja has also looked right among India's players. There seems to be some confusion as to where to take the free kick from. The referee Ryan Chana telling the Bhutanic players Kriti Gurung is about to take the free kick and does. The long effort meets a Bhutan player. India's captain is down, it seems. In fact, no. It's Toibisana Chanu, Toijam, the goal scorer just a while ago. She's the one who's been hit on the head by Nepal's Namsil Wangzong. The medic is out immediately, as we can see. It was a clash of heads. Namsil Wangzong dealt with it better. But we cannot take any risks with head injuries. As we approach the 66th minute, with this small break in play, the players go to the sideline, they run there for some water to rehydrate as it has become quite dark and gloomy in Dhaka and there is a chance of rain at this moment. Referee having a word with the captain of India regarding the face injury perhaps. All in good spirits though. And India should be in good spirits for the time being. They've given them a good chance of winning this tournament. If they can win their final match. But that will be a daunting task because they will be facing Russia who are yet to be defeated in this tournament. India moving forward with Verve now. After the short break in play, looking for the seventh goal. This time, the pass not as accurate and a bit of a slip just outside the D box. But India still with possession. This time, though, Bhutan manages to deal with it, gets the ball away. India's coach giving some instructions to her players. As the throw in is taken by Toy Toy Devi. And a good run from the right flank. towards Puja. Just to be said on the right wing. Ribahun Shisha. Karshing is the new player in. Once again the referee Ryan Jana. Teams there to be in obstruction 
today despite the home team Bangladesh not playing there are a few people that have come to the stadium to watch the football and now India Shilji Shaji has a hat-trick and that's her second hat-trick of the tournament she has the goal she scores her third of the match the top goal scorer in the tournament three in their first match against Nepal and now three against Bhutan India's seventh goal as we can see the ball falling nicely for her and she was in space and made no mistake with the shot a powerful one at the bottom left corner of the goal and Nepal's sharing young zone the goalkeeper the third choice keeper had nothing to do had no choice but to concede there and as we can see in midfield Nepal once again losing control Bhutan, beg your pardon losing control in midfield and it's India looking to attack they scored seven keep in mind Russia scored nine against them Bangladesh scored eight there is still time for more goals India's Vikshit Bara with the throw in this time Bhutan looking to attack once again the pass it goes straight to the keeper and Namsel Wangzong the only player who's looked to attack for Bhutan looks an isolated figure amongst all the Indian defenders in front of her Shilji Shaji with her second hat-trick of this tournament attacking from the right and leading India towards a memorable win here Ribahun Shisha Karshin from the right flank playing on a right midfield role almost whenever she takes that right flank role we see Shilji Shaji taking a more central role in front of attack she's really added a bit more to her game in the second half as India look for goal number eight the shot this time is saved by the keeper sharing young zone but on some of these occasions she's had no option but to concede for India this time there is a chance Bhutan breaking through this time this could be a goal but it goes wide the shot that was taken by Namsel Wang zone she broke through but unfortunately for Namsel Wang Zong she just couldn't find the back of the net she was one on one with the keeper and all she needed to do was place it you can also give credit to the keeper Kushi Gumari who will be very happy that the shot didn't go in but now India looking to score another one eventually Puja is deemed to be offside and the danger that was there from India is eventually dealt with Bhutan after conceding seven goals they had their best chance of the match just a while ago and that's what sometimes can happen when you've been isolated for long periods in this match without possession you lose confidence and when you lose confidence you sometimes miss the easiest of chances and that was one of the easier chances in this match to score from for Namsel Wang Zong. unfortunately for her team and herself 
she couldn't make it count. Bhutan once again with a throw in. Which India find at their feet and they can go back and attack. Now a long ball forward. Should be taken by the keeper. She misses it. This could be more danger but eventually the threat is dealt with by Bhutan's captain. Kill Sang sharing Wang Mo. And she's very frustrated with the defending there. You can see her reaction is not of a one player who's happy with what's happening. Right now Puja looking to make things happen for India. The ball goes in and fortunately the shot by Vikshit Bara gets deflected and outside for a goal kick. Sharing Yang Zong takes the goal kick and as we can see Puja initially she gets that shot through but then Vikshit Bara the other shot that she takes it actually hits Puja and then goes out of play and right now India have managed to take another corner Namsel Yang Zong having to defend now doesn't do a great job Ribahun Shisha, the player making her pay. Right now, Vikshit Bara with a good corner in, and it's goal number eight. It is another goal for India. And I believe it came off the head of Shilji Shaji, who has four goals in this match. She's really making herself known amongst everyone and should be among the players of the tournament in this match alone she scored four wonderful header gets it perfectly she might not be the tallest but that doesn't matter she has plenty of power and her coach gladly appreciating her efforts Priya Valapil She's been really pleased with what she's seen from Shilji Shaji. She's been impressed with Puja as well. And as I said, Ribahun Shisha, who came in as a substitute. She's made the game look easy. Her name may not be easy, but the football she's played has made things easy for her teammates in India right now have eight goals with a bit less than 14 minutes to play. Bhutan, they've conceded eight against India. They've conceded nine against Russia. They've conceded eight against Bangladesh. And they've conceded five against Nepal. They've managed to score one goal against Bangladesh. And one of the goals that was scored against Russia was an own goal. And that's it. With a goal difference of minus 28, Bhutan. They are all but out of this tournament right now. Bhutan once again losing possession in midfield. And it's India's number 9, Menaka Lorambam. Is that a quiet second half? Looking to score the other goal and just missing Puja. She couldn't get to the end of it. Shilji Shaji once again was involved in the attack. India's goal difference at the end of it could have them at the top of the table. A big win here definitely helping their cause. And a goal kick here. But once again for Bhutan they're losing control in the important stages of play and in important parts of the pitch. As the cross comes in, not dealt with yet. It's with Shilji Shaji and she scores her goal number five. 
Five goals to the number 10 for India. And she is right now the top goal scorer by a long margin. Five goals here, three in the first match, eight in total. Nine nil to India. They could be good for more. Shilji Shaji. She's made a menace of herself. Brilliant play here. Puja was perhaps in an offside position. But Shilji Shaji made sure that she took the shot. And now Bhutan find themselves once again on the brink of a massive loss. Just over 10 minutes left to play in this match. And India are attacking once again. This time it was Sivani Devi. And once again, Shilji Shaji from the middle of the pitch. India are dominating. This could be the first game where we see more than nine goals scored for one team. Russia scored nine against the same opposition, Bhutan. India could score more. The cross comes in and just wide of the mark. Looks like there is going to be a substitution here. And it will be India's goalkeeper, Kushi Kumari, who will be subbed off for Anisha Oraong. Once again, India back in attack. Looking good. Sibani Devi takes a shot on the sideline. Hitting the side netting, in fact. This time, a corner coming in. finally dealt with it'll be a goal kick so for India this is looking quite good they have one match left after this but that will be against Russia this game will give them plenty of confidence to do something good against the strong Russian team. Another goal here would increase their goal difference to a point where they're above Russia in the points table and are top of the points table and India might want to do that. There is still an opportunity here. Eventually the ball goes out. It's another goal kick. But seriously one has to talk about how well Shilji Shaji has played for the Indian team. One of the future stars for sure. Three goals in the first game against Nepal. Five so far. We've seen goals with her left foot, with her right foot, from difficult angles, from long range efforts, and also with a head. Now, India. Once again, it's Shilji Shaji. She takes a long range shot. It's defended. She has the ball back again. Sibani Devi and Shilji Shaji combining. She talks uh, her long range effort is just wide. And you can see both of them. 
They're having fun on the pitch. Shilji Shachi and Sibani Devi. This time, Puja presses and takes the ball. Sibani Devi has it from the left flank, looking to cut back. Eventually, losing her footing. But India once again on the attack. Puja, good skill shown, but well defended. Eventually, Bhutan's captain, Kelzang Shering Wangmo, doing what she needed to do to deal with the danger. And eventually, she wins herself a free kick. She will be disappointed with the rest of the defense, though. A very physical tussle there between her and Puja. And now in midfield, Bhutan trying to have a bit more of the ball, have a bit more control. India eventually dealing with it. And Bhutan will have to do some more defending. Good pressing by Reba Hun Shisha. The corner taken too early and out of play. Will be another free kick this time for Bhutan. Their captain Kilzang sharing Wang Mo takes it. Unfortunately, there seems to be some sort of a an issue here. Assistant ref Shakya Radhika. She says the free kick needs to be taken again. This time is India once again with possession in midfield. Not the best of passes, but they still find themselves in an attacking place. Looking for the tenth. Bhutan deal with it. They've got players deep in their D box. Four players trying to defend. The shot is lobbed up, but off target. Ribahun Shisha, Karshing, her effort was an ambitious one and you can see sharing Yangzom not the most comfortable with her feet and allowing her captain Kilzang sharing this time India once again in attack Good strength shown there by Lalita Boypai. Ball goes out once again, Vikshit Bara. With a throw in that eventually finds its way to Puja. And now a good cross comes in, but dealt with by Bhutan. You can see Sibani Devi just working tirelessly on the left flank. India once again in possession. Toy Toy Devi with the ball in a lot of space. Takes the shot. Was going off target. Seeing so many goals scored, Toy Toy Devi thought she might also get in on the act. With not much time left now. India once again looking good. Shilji Shaji inside the D box. But eventually it's dealt with. And now Bhutan Priya Galle loses possession. And 
Pooja from India is deemed to be offside. India running out of time to score that 10th goal. They've scored 9. The same amount that Russia managed to score against Bhutan. They conceded one though via an own goal. Bhutan losing possession once again in midfield. Brilliant skill there. Eventually it's out for another throw in. Lalita Boypai was that player. Showed some good trickery with her feet. And now it's out for another throw in, but this time it's for Bhutan. Inside Bhutan's D box, the throw in comes and they would like to keep it down to nine goals and not concede more. A long kick taken in midfield. The referee signals four minutes of additional time. Additional time, four minutes. Additional time, four minutes. In India, they were attacked for a while by Bhutan. And now Bhutan, once again, taking a rather weak and meek effort from long range. And India's second choice keeper, Anisha. Around with a long throw. Oh, there seems to be an injury for India in midfield. Menaka Lorenbaum, she's down. And that injury seemed to come out of nothing, absolutely nothing. She's holding her knee and looks to be in a lot of pain. This doesn't look good for her. Usually, when it's a non contact injury, you hope for the it to not be an ACL or MCL but you can tell the stretcher needs to come out and you can see after she went to go for the ball her left knee just gave away it could be an MCL India will be hoping it's just cramp. Menaka Lorenbaum, who scored the opening goal of this match. Before a barrage of goals by Shilji Shaji and two from Sibani Devi. And it's very unfortunate we've had two injuries when there's been extra time in this match and the ref has had to increase the amount of time as a result in extra time and the dreaded stretcher is out. And this could be the end of the tournament for India's number nine, Menaka Lorenbaum. As we're into the third minute of extra time, third minute out of four, so you can expect a few extra minutes to be given on this occasion. But for Menaka Lorenbaum, it doesn't look too good right now. Mm. 
India Scotch, Priya Vallapil, trying to send her best wishes to her injured number nine. And the referee, Rayanjana, had her clock stopped for a bit. She restarts it as India get back in attack. Luckily for Bhutan, the pass is overhit and it will be a goal kick. India have relied heavily on the goals of Shilji Shaji. And she will be one of the players to watch out for against Russia if India want to get something out of that match. Right now, Bhutan with only one player in attack in midfield. Really can't make anything from it. This time, if they can build a few passes, they can make a sustainable attack. Not enough coordination between the Bhutan players when they have possession of the ball. Eventually, there was another mix up on who needed to have possession, and now India get back in attack. Sibani Devi went down for a while, not back up. The referee checking how much more time she has left. India nine goals ahead in this match against Bhutan. Looking for goal number 10. As we played the four minutes and we might have a few extra. From the right flank, it is deemed to be a foul on Puja. And finally the referee gives a yellow card to Bhutan's captain. Kills on sharing one more. She's cut a frustrated figure in defense. And now a free kick for Nepal. This is another danger. India's Vikshit Bara ready with the free kick. In the dying embers of this match. The referee finally blows her whistle. Free kick taken. It's a bit too long though. And the referee decides that's enough. India had their last chance to score Final the 10th score goal. Score for India 9. Score for Bhutan 0. Thank you all. India winning this match comprehensively uh, by a massive margin. 9-0 against Bhutan. Nepal, Bonam, Russia, One of the Bhutan. players of the tournament, Shilji Shaji, with 5 goals. 2022 Good spirits shown eventually by both teams. Bhutan, they've received drubbings from every single team they faced. The lowest that they conceded was against Nepal, where they conceded five goals every other game. Bhutan has conceded goals more than that. Eight against the hosts, Bangladesh. Nine against Russia, who play later. And nine against India in this match. And we take a look at the table. India move up to second spot with six points, overtaking Bangladesh, who also have six points, but a plus five goal difference. India's one increases to plus 11, the same as Russia. And because they've conceded more, they're in second spot. For Bhutan, unfortunately, they're at the bottom of the table. And full time, it's India 9, Bhutan nil. 
and the next match will be at 7.15 p.m. Two hours from now, Nepal versus Russia. This is it from us. This is Mishandra signing off. We'll see you again in a few hours. Till then, stay tuned.